Hi everyone. Well, as you all know that this is the time we tend to increase our anxiety levels. Guys, it's not that we do it willingly or we do it on purpose, but it happens accidentally. You know why? Because we are sitting at home and we actually spend a lot of time at home and by keep thinking on one aspect, we tend to get more anxiety. So how can we come out of it? Very simple guys, by following few techniques. So what are the different techniques? Today, I would like to speak on them. So first is have a routine life, like uh, just make a schedule so that we don't go out of that. Well, what is what does it happen when we have a routine life? Guys, similarly, when we used to go to college or office, when we had a routine life, we were actually busy and we didn't give a chance to get more, uh, to fall into any anxiety levels. So it's better to have a routine every day, like getting up, uh, having an exercise, doing an exercise, uh, drinking water, having proper food, and then starting off work and in between doing stretches and drinking water and so on. So maintaining a routine and ensuring that we're sleeping and getting up at the same time uh, does make a lot of difference in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, the second one is ensure that we do not get uh, too much addicted to news or revisiting news will also increase our anxiety level without knowingly. Yes, guys. By looking at news every now and then, we tend to get uh, more, you know, trouble. Like we tend to think of it. Oh my God, what is going to happen? Instead, let us limit the news. Like just watching it for uh, maybe, you know, 10 or 20 minutes in the morning and in the evening. That's it. Do not stretch it. So what happens is in this way, we are being aware. We are being aware. And yes, we are limiting the news as well. Third thing is... Um, let us stop thinking on what if. See, anyways, past is past. We cannot do anything about it, right? And if we think more on, oh my God, what is going to happen in future? Oh my God. See, this will only increase the anxiety. Nothing is, nothing is going to change. What is the best way is to live in the present? As you all know, present is a gift, right? We all are gifted folks. So let us live in present and be more happy and try to think, uh, try to be in the present and just cut down on unnecessary anxieties. And the best way, uh, another one is being connected with our loved ones. Yes, guys, don't you think by being connected with our loved ones, it's okay if we are not with them. We should be really happy and thank about all those online, uh, you know, network like uh, Skype, FaceTime or Google Hangouts or WhatsApp, anything. Just talk to your loved ones, spend some time and uh, have a healthy chat. You know, even study says the more we talk with our loved ones, the, the way they actually boost us, it also helps us in falling very less anxiety. So it's very important, guys. And as you all know, if we are, uh, you know, being more anxiety, it will also affect our immunity system. So let us all cut down on all those sources which can increase the anxiety levels. Rather, just look at uh, whatever I have mentioned so far and just try to work on it. So let us all go for a daily routine instead of trying something new all of a sudden. In that way, we can keep our levels, our anxiety levels lower and uh, have a very, you know, normal and gentle life and continue the day-to-day -day routine. So stay home, stay safe and um, be calm and cool. Thank you.